is a the V number of monomial ideal. So basically, this is a very recent topic. Um, so the contents are this that I will give some introduction and motivations of the of my talk, and then we need some preliminaries, and then I will talk about the V number of monomial ideals via its polarization, and then I will talk about bounds of regularity and induced matching number by the V number, and then some open problems. So first, uh, let us first give the definition of the V number. Uh, let I be a proper graded ideal of a polynomial ring. Uh, and we can take the standard grading. Then the V number of I denoted by VI is defined as this. That is, the minimum degree of a homogeneous polynomial F for which I colon F is a prime ideal. Because we know for a Noetherian ring, if we take an ideal, then its associated primes are of the form I colon F that is i colon some polynomial so for a ideal actually the for in a ideal in a polynomial ring uh, the associated prime will be of the form i colon f and we have to take the minimum degree of such f for which i colon f gives a prime ideal so that is the v number so so we can locally define the v number for each prime ideal just like for uh, each prime ideal p belongs to uh, for each associated prime of i we can locally define the V number as VPI such that uh, the minimum degree of F for which I colon F is equal to that P. Okay. So obviously the V number will be minimum of VPI. So these are some motivation why we study V number or where it comes actually. Uh, the V number of I was introduced as an invariant of the graded ideal I during the study of reed muller type codes, mainly in coding theory. And this invariant investigate the asymptotic behavior of the minimum distance function of projective Reed-Muller type codes. And later it was uh, seen that from a geometrical point of view, which is uh, very uh, in the study of 1993, so from a geometrical point of view, the local V number extends the notion of degree of a point in a finite set of projective points. And also, the in this invariant can be used to give some bounds uh, of some other invariants like custom loop of Mumford regularity or induced matching number. So we need some preliminaries. So mainly we are talking about the V number of monomial ideals. So first, uh, Zara Milo and Villarreal started the study for V number of edge ideals, that is for the square free monomial ideals. So first, give the definition of clutter. We know also clutter or simple hypergraph. The so clutter C is a pair of two sets. One is a vertex set, one is the edge set, where VC is called the vertex set, is a collection of, and EC is a collection of subset of VC such that no two elements contains each other. And that is the elements of EC is called the edge. And a simple graph is an example of a clutter, or simple hypergraph. So why we define clutter? Because uh, we know that any square free monomial ideal can be associated with a clutter. So the set of square free monomial ideal and the set of clutters are in one to one correspondence. So for an edge in a clutter, we define the uh, monomial uh, XA, uh, sorry, yeah. We define the monomial XA like this. So for a set of, uh, for a subset of vertex set, we can define the monomial XA like the product of the variables. And then we take all XE where E belongs to EC, that is for all edges we are taking the XE and the ideal generated by this. So this is a square free monomial ideal and this is called the edge ideal of the clutter. And we know that what we say that square free monomial ideals and clutters are one to one correspondence. Now uh, I'm talking about some uh, preliminaries of the combinatorics such that uh, a subset A of the vertex set, a subset of a vertex set is said to be stable or independent if there exists no edge contained in A. Okay? There is no edge contained in A that is called the independent set. And what is the neighbor of a set? So neighbor of a set means uh, neighbor of an independent set. So we have to take an independent set and we have to collect those vertices such that the xi union that uh, those vertices xi such that xi union that independent set contains some edges. Okay. So that is called the neighbor set. And if we union A with the neighbor of A, then we it is uh, seen as a closed neighbor of A. A subset C of VC, uh, that is a vertex set, um, is called the vertex cover of C. If E intersection C is non, non, 
non empty for uh, any e belongs to ec and fc denotes the collection of all maximal stable sets of c or maximal independent sets of c so it is very well known that for a square free monomial ideal the associated primes are related with the minimal vertex cover of the clutter okay or simple hypergraph so here we are talking about the maximal stable sets so if we go to the complement of maximal stable set it is a minimal vertex cover so the complement of a maximal stable set always give a minimal vertex cover or an associated prime we can say and ac denotes the collection of those independent sets such that its neighbor is a minimal vertex cover so why we define this because uh, in the first paper uh, they gave the combinatorial description of the v number uh, there is zara miller and villarreal gave the combinatorial description of the v number for square free monomial ideal so how they gave uh, this is written here that suppose i equal to ic be the age ideal of a clutter and i is not a prime because for the prime case we, v number will be zero okay we can take any constant or something then uh, fc is contained in ac and v number is the minimum of the cardinality of a such that a belongs to ac so what is actually a so if i just draw a graph for normal uh, so x1 x2 so here we can see x1 and x x5 is a maximal independent sets okay so its complement that is or its neighbor x2 x3 x4 is a minimal vertex cover so if i take the age ideal of this graph suppose g and colon with with the monomial x1 x5 then actually we will get the prime ideal x2 x3 x4 okay so the degree of x1 x5 is 2 so we can say that the v number is less equal to 2 but if you see if we don't take x5 then x1 itself is a independent set and the neighbor of x1 is also x2 x3 x4 so this is also like this so here x1 does the job so we can say that the v number of this ideal is 1 so from this we can say because this is not a prime ideal so v number cannot be 0 So this is a combinatorial description for the v number for square free monomial ideal. Now uh, we are talking about some the induced matching of graph. So first uh, call the what is matching. So let G be a graph. A matching is a subset of the edge set uh, such that no two edges of M shares a common vertex. And a matching is called an induced matching in G if the induced subgraph on the vertex set union of E i that is M. Uh, the edges of in M contains only M as the edge set. Okay, so such like uh, if we take this graph, this edge and this edge forms a matching, but this is not an induced matching. Why? Because in the induced subgraph there is an edge. So if we remove this edge and consider this graph, then this two will be an induced matching. And it is a well-known result that the induced match uh, for a age ideal induced matching is less equal to the regularity of the ideal. So that's why it is very important. And uh, the cardinality of the mass maximum induced matching in G is known as the induced matching number, and we will denote it by IMG. Now uh, talk about the V number of monomial ideal via polarization because uh, polarization is such a technique such that we can extend the monomial ideal into the square free monomial ideal and we can get some results uh, of properties or invariants very easily. So this is the definition of polarization. I think I, I can skip this because we know about that. Um, so mainly polarization is nothing but corresponding to a monomial ideal in an extended ring in, in an extended uh, polynomial ring we can see it as a square free monomial ideal and then we can relate some invariants or some properties such like cohen macaulay property regularity or dimension or depth so 
let i be an arbitrary monomial ideal if there exists a prime ideal associated prime ideal of i pole i, I pole denotes the polarization of i if uh, if there exists a uh, prime ideal of uh, associated prime of uh, sorry if there exists an associated prime of i pole such that uh, x s1 b s1 to x s k b s k such that there is no embedded prime of i containing x s1 to x s k so it is an well known result that uh, if we take an associated prime of the polarization of an monomial ideal then it would look like this that is x s1 b s1 to x s k b s k where x s1 x s2 x s k is an associated prime of i okay so uh, so this will be an associated prime of i and suppose if we see in i there is no embedded prime containing this I, this ideal then we can say the v number of the polarization is equal to vp i pole and so i'm uh, sorry okay uh, not like that the v number of the polarization is attained for this prime ideal this p then we can say v number of i is equal to v number of the polarization okay so we, when we are talking about the v number v number can be attained for a prime ideal okay so it may attend for the multiple prime ideal so if there exists some prime sorry so if there exists some prime ideal like this for which the v number is attained and the corresponding prime ideal is contain no embedded prime in i then v number of i is equal to the polarization and in general we get the v number of the polarization is less equal to v number of i and if i has no embedded prime then v number of i pole is equal to vi for the unmixed case or cohen macaulay case also we can say that v number of i pole is equal to v number of i so the converse of uh, corollary 2.2 is not true because just like v number of i pole can be v number of uh, we can be equal to v number of i but i may have some embedded prime and it is clear from our example here so i is a monomial ideal and this is the primary decomposition of i so here the associated primes of i are uh, x2 x3 x1 x3 x1 x2 x1 x2 x3 so x1 x2 x3 is not an embedded prime of i but there is no associated prime of i containing x1 x2 x3 and uh, by the algorithm given in 4 we can compute that v number of i and v number of i polarization is 3 and we can actually see that i colon x1 x2 x3 is nothing but the ideal generated by x1 x2 x3 so here v number is attained for this prime ideal and this does not contain any embedded prime this is an embedded prime of i but there is no embedded prime of i containing x1 x2 x3 so from our theorem so this justify the v number of i is equal to v number of i pole uh, and also i pole we can see like this that is uh, this will be an associated prime okay hmm. so we also prove that uh, so in the study of polynomial ring the this exact sequence is very important uh, whenever we study a monomial ideal or something So it is very important to uh, see the relation between the v number of i, uh, v number of i colon f and v, v number of i comma f. So here we got the result. Um, uh, let i be a monomial i and f be a monomial such that f does not belongs to i. Then we can say that uh, v number of i is less equal to v number of i colon f plus degree of f. Then for a graph g we prove that v number of the edge ideal of g is less equal to the vertex covering number of the graph and the additivity of the v number for monomial ideal we have also proved that is uh, if um, i1 is uh, ideal in a polynomial ring and i2 is a uh, pol uh, ideal in a different polynomial ring then we have v number of i1 r plus i2 r in the extended polynomial ring where r is the tensor of r1 and r2 v number of i1 plus v number of i2 so this is proof for the monomial ideal and somewhat uh, recently we have proof for the binomial edge ideal but for the arbitrary graded ideal we don't know the v number will be additive or not okay 
So this uh, this is an interesting thing to see. Okay, for the complete integration ideal, we see that v number of i is nothing but the degree of x i x a i uh, minus k and which is equal to the regularity. Okay, so for complete integration monomial ideal, v number is equal to the regularity of Arcosian time. And these are some property what I say about this are uh, exact sequence to see uh, how they related. So here we give some relation that such that uh, if I equal to ICB and H ideal of a clutter that is I is in square free monomial ideal. And suppose XI does not appear in the H set that is XI does not appear in the generating set uh, but as a single variable. Then V number of I is less equal to V number of I colon XI plus 1. Also for some XI we get V number of I colon XI is less equal to VI. Also if VI is greater or equal to 2 then v, v number of I colon XI is less than V number of I for some XI. And also V number of I C minus X i that means V number of I comma X i uh, is less equal to V number of I C for some X i belongs to V C. Next we talk about the uh, bounds of regularity and induced matching number by the V number. So in this section the main result of uh, uh, is uh, the following that if G is a bipartite graph or C4 C5 free vertex decomposable graph which also include the caudal graph or whisker graph. For in this case we see that we prove that the uh, V number of IG is less equal to the induced matching number of G less equal to the regularity of our quotient IG. And also for um, the any positive integer N we have a graph G such that regularity of our quotient IG minus v, v, v number of IG is N. That is for every positive integer we can construct a graph such that this hold. So we can say that regularity is can be arbitrarily larger than the V number. And it is a definition of the Alexander dual. So Alexander dual is nothing but if we take an uh, uh, square free monomial ideal, we have to go to the primary decomposition and corresponding to primary decomposition we can construct a monomial ideal, okay, which is known as also the cover ideal. And then ideal uh, is known as the Alexander dual because the, if we dual of this ideal also becomes the main ideal that is uh, I. So this is called the cover ideal or Alexander dual of a square free monomial ideal. And we see that if um, let C be a clutter that can not be written as a union of two disjoint clutters or we can say any clutter also. If V number of the Alexander dual is less equal to the regularity of R question Alexander dual of I plus 1 and V number of Alexander uh, dual of I is greater or equal to the vertex covering number of C plus 1 then I cannot be cohen macaulay so this is an relation of the cohen macaulay and V number of square free monomial ideal. And Zara Miller and Villarreal give, propose some open problem whether V number is less equal to regularity plus I, regularity of R question I plus 1 or not for any square free monomial ideal and we give some example where this does not hold. And also later, uh, recently C1, Yusuf C1 proved that for every integer k greater than 1 there exists a connected graph HK such that V number of IHK is less equal to regularity of IHK plus 1. We have proved that regularity can be arbitrarily larger than V number and here he proved that V number can be arbitrarily larger than regularity. Okay. So this is an open problem, uh, this is a problem that classification of some classes of connected graph G for which this holds. We prove for the bipartite one C4, C5 free vertex decomposable and also for uh, whisker graph. So all other classes there are not uh, some good classes for which this holds. And, uh, yeah, that. and also we notice that for the cohen macaulay case, we, from our result we can see that the V number is less equal to the depth and the V number is greater or equal to the dimension minus depth which is nothing but zero actually in the cohen macaulay case. And also in some example or many example when the cohen macaulay is not necessary we see that this inequality holds. So we put the following question, the for a square free monomial ideal does V number is less equal to the depth or not or V number is greater or equal to dimension minus depth or not. Okay. Still we do not know about this uh, see the, and this is the paper from where I present. 